Today, let's make some Cajun shrimp, and we're going to place it on top of a nice, delicious ribeye. We're going to start off with the ribeye. We've got two grass-fed ribeyes here. They're about 9 to 10 ounces each. We're going to take some nice um, sea salt here, and we're going to grind that on top of each side. We want to make sure we get a lot of sea salt. We also want to put a heavy dosing of, of fresh ground pepper. In our skillet over here, we've put roughly two tablespoons of olive oil, and we've heated that. And we've also preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We're just gonna take our steaks, put them in our cast iron skillet. We're gonna sear that on both sides uh, three to four minutes, and then we're gonna place it in the oven. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, to put some salt and pepper on this side of the steak. After about three or four minutes, you want to turn it and you got that nice crust on the outside of our steaks. Now, before we put these in, we set our steaks out for roughly 30 to 45 minutes to make sure our steaks come up to room temperature. We're going to now cook this for another three to four minutes. All right, we're going to turn the heat off. I've got two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to stick one tablespoon on top of each piece of steak. Hit that. I'm going to stick this in the oven. Now, you want to uh, check your steak. Everyone has a different temperature that they like theirs. We like ours a medium well to well done. So we're going to cook ours for roughly 15 to 20 minutes. You can probably get away with yours. Maybe five minutes if you want to like the medium rare. All right. Our steak is done. Stick that on the stove. We're going to take the steaks out. We're going to place them on a cutting board. We're going to let them rest for just a little bit. Meanwhile, in the same skillet, we're going to stick five ounces of butter. And we're going to put down uh, medium heat and we're going to let the butter melt. All right, uh, our butter's melting. All right, that was five tablespoons, not five ounces. That was just five tablespoons. We're going to put two teaspoons of minced garlic in it, and we're going to cook this for one minute. After one minute, we're then going to add our one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. We're going to get that nice mix. We're now going to add one pound of large shrimp. And those large shrimp has been deveined, cleaned, and the tails taken off. And we're going to cook this approximately three to five minutes combined. So it's going to be about two to two and a half minutes per side until it turns a nice pink. We don't want to overcook our shrimp. When our tails start to turn a little bit pink, and if you take a look here real quick, they're beginning to turn pink. And they're beginning to look a little bit more solid. We're just going to go ahead and turn them at that point. All right, we're going to take one of these beautiful steaks. If you would like, you could always slice your steak. We're just going to leave ours whole there. We're going to take some of our shrimp. Place that shrimp across the top, however you want. I think we're going to start ourselves out with five. Take a little bit of this sauce and just drizzle it across our steak. And there we have it, a delicious recipe. We hope that you'll uh, like, subscribe, and share. And tell us what your favorite steak recipe is. Thank you for watching.